Concrete planters are a must have in your decor for 2019. Hi, I'm Jodie at Chuck Smith, and you're watching Yards of Decor TV. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and click that notification bell for more updates. If you're already subscribed, welcome back. Hey guys, I'm Julian and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a planter, concrete planter. All right? So, with us, we have this big water bottle here. Two of them you need. Well, you can use one depending on how much you want, right? I'm going to be using this malta as a spacer. Space holder, I should say. That's so it would go in here like this when the cement goes, in, the mixture goes in. All right, here we have a cup of cement already, or a bottle of water. I have my stencil knife to cut the bottle. Something to mix. Yeah. <laughs> and here's the cement, of course. All right. So the idea, guys, is it's a DIY, right? So it's using what you have around you because you know the environment we have to be cognizant of that a lot of things are happening a lot of animals in the sea are dying because of plastic bottles and stuff like that so in order to reduce and reuse this is what we do diy all right oh and guys i have a little piece of thing here to wipe down and smooth it off when that is um i'll show you how that goes all right Remember now guys, um, this is a follow up video as to our floating shelf that we did the other day and we want stuff to put on it because we did two of them, one has, is occupied already but the other is quite empty. So we're making these planters to use on them, alright, to decorate them. Alright, remember we're going to be putting a link in the description box below so yeah you can see the floating shelf video, click on that link to see the floating shelf video. Okay guys, so let's get started. I'll be cutting with my stencil knife. That's where I want it. Right here. Uh, you can do this, the whatever size you want, whatever container, whatever shape. You can be creative with it, you know. Ain't nothing wrong with trying new stuff, guys. Ain't nothing wrong with trying new stuff. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> it's cut, guys. It's cut. It's cut. It's cut. Now we have two planters. So let's get on to the mixture. Okay, guys. So now for the mixture, I have here one cup of cement. That in. Good. Ooh. I would advise guys please wear your dust mask especially if you have issues with breathing or sinusitis. I was diagnosed with that when I was younger you know sinusitis. Sinus tonsillitis and some arsaka something like that. I guess I grew out of them you know. So filling up this cup here. And for those who are skin sensitive, make sure you wear your gloves. Alright, so that's two cups. Alright. No, we're gonna do this thing like how we do floor. <laughs> so you know I spoil the floor right now, right? So we're gonna push on the water a certain way. I don't think one cup, probably like half cup. My question how half cup look first. You can't judge that, don't know half cup that. Yeah, half cup. Alright, let's pour it in there. Look like it took a one more man. Mix and mix and mix. Yeah, definitely. So half cup more. All right, let's see how this goes. <laughs> mixing, mixing time. Uh -oh. I'm gonna 
stuff is strong you know all right so this seems like it's a little bit too thick even though i use one cup can remember said half and half a one so i'm gonna try just put a little more and see yeah this feels a little more smoother yeah This would be enough for the two planters and get it as smooth as possible. I see some people can use it well, mix it with their hand, you know. <laughs> they won't be so bad right now. Think this smooth enough? Alright, we'll mix butter. And yeah, that's still lumpy. Okay guys, so we are finished mixing and we are going to be pouring the butter into this container. This is it's going to take the shape of this container. You don't want to fold it up too much because by the time you put it in the placeholder, that weight is going to carry it up. But this looks like it may be enough for the next one. Alright. Let's test it. Woohoo! I kind of hold it in place, little, because the butter look a bit too wet. It seems. Okay, guys. So it seems as if we could have do without the extra water so now I had to add a little more cement to kind of make back the butter a little thicker to support the holder because this is heavy so by the time you put it down in there you want it to can hold without you have to be holding it up all right so let's see how this one turns out Remember, don't fill it up too much. Okay, it's going to overflow. You want just enough so that when you put the placeholder in there, um, it forms the shape. Ooh. This seems like it's a lot better. See, it's standing up on its own. Alright, I'm going to add some more so that I can, maybe not, because I can just clean off that afterwards. There you have it guys, going to wait until it's set and then we remove the outer container and the placeholder and then you will have your planter. Okay guys, so we are back. Um, our first attempt at making the concrete planter crumbled. So we had to, had us to remix everything. Um, added in some tin set in there to kind of give it more firmness. So you might have to fix up the, well I, I guess I can give you the information below as to how you can fully achieve. And of course the container spoil up so we have to use another container. This was some big tropical rhythm bottle. And so when you remove the plastic, this is it, it takes the form or the shape of the plastic bottle. I remember when we first started um, we were using the Malta bottle here as the placeholder. See? So what happened is you have to remove this before it is completely dry else you will have problem removing it right so you have to it's not too wet and not too dry it's set they call it set when it's set you remove it you know gently remove it 
and uh, allow it to, to dry some more then you remove the plastic which we are going to be doing now for this one alright so we are just cutting it in different places so that we can rip it full thing alright guys so finally finally we get it out of the plastic and as we said before it takes the shape see there it takes the shape of the plastic all right so remember in the first part of the video I had mentioned that you must have a so a fabric piece of cotton or damp cloth I'm going to damp it can I just smooth smooth it off you know and once that is all smooth and nice you can spray paint you can paint whatever you want to do with it if it's smooth I tell you that was hard work <laughs> Just get it out of the plastic. Yeah. Alright guys, time to spray paint. For those who have issues with their sinus and stuff like that, make sure you wear your face mask, right? right so you're going to hold this away from you, your face. And you need to shake up the spray pan. And aim fire. Hold on, I saw me hurt my finger weak. We miss man. See that? So I think I'm holding it a little bit too close. So getting the job done, man. This is it. Okay guys, so our concrete planter is finished at this time. I'm going to remove the tape eventually, but I'm going to allow it to dry some more. And then we're going to plant. You know, find a nice plant that we want to put in there. And plant. And decorate our floating shelf so remember guys our floating shelf we're gonna add the link to that um, video down below so you guys can go and watch it after this to see you if you haven't watched it before okay guys so we are going to be planting our plants in the planter yay so I have a handful of stone to put at the bottom because it doesn't have any opening something I learned in gardening the other day so you must put a few stones at the bottom something to do with the water when you put it in there all right and I'm gonna see if this little guy can hold her yo I hear we are tell the big mother aloe vera say they forgive us for take care of picking them <laughs> We did some dirt around it. It's too red dirt kind of dry. We'll put a little sand so it will keep it moist. When you put water in there, alright, so we pat down this thing, clean off the edges smoothly.
Okay guys, so I had some aloe vera outside. And it's a nice um, green plant to use in the home. I guess that's what people talk about its medicinal or health properties. So. Okay guys, guess what, guess what, guess what? Our concrete planter is final. And we've decorated our floating shelf with it, as you can see. Right? So, if you liked this video, and you would love to see more of this video, please subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell. See you guys next time.